costumes and all this is you know, really going to be quite good. Shunt, uh, oh yeah, Shunt Palacorti, so we'll say. So, uh, you know, so we head down in the middle of the church. Uh, big 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 DJ Day night, yeah, yeah so I'll keep you loose, but we'll, 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 we'll talk all about it on that Sunday. He sent me a copy of all his books, you know, so I could share with everyone, you know. Good. 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 like we are actively live streaming um, and it is 7.32 and we do have all school committee members present at this time. Um, so I will call the meeting to order and I will ask for a motion to move to executive session. Actually, um, that's loud, sorry. Um, I would first, um, if possible, if I could make a motion to move an agenda item up before we go into executive session. Is that possible procedurally? Um, what I'd like to do is um, make a motion to move the agenda review, so item G, move it up um, for discussion now. Okay. Um, okay. So we'll start with um, the agenda review. Does anybody have any questions on the agenda as it's listed? Um, so the reason why I um, asked for that is because um, I have concern about having community comment after our discussion and vote, and I would propose, I don't know if I need to make a motion to do so, but move the community comment to above H so that we can have um, feedback from the large outpouring of community members that we have here and so that we can listen to them before we actually discuss and vote. Is that your motion? I'll second okay. that. Okay, um, is there any discussion? Well, I just have a question. Um, because of the you know, laws around open meetings, et cetera, I, I feel like there's a lot of information that I would like to understand in context for this agenda item. So I guess I'm just wondering, and so I'm wondering, is there information 
that community members don't have that would be helpful to inform community comment, just like there's information that I don't have or have questions about. So I just, I don't know if there's a way to sort of toggle it, because I see your point. Like, you know, I think we want to make an informed vote based on what we hear from community members. At the same time, there's information that we're having this meeting to get as school community members that might also be helpful in informing community comment. So I don't know if there's a way to sort of split it. Yeah, I was just speaking with the superintendent. I don't see any prohibitions of putting splitting it, having community comment prior to the two topics, and then after. So, do you want to amend your motion, Keith? So, do we? Can we do discussion, community comment, then vote? Is that is that allowed? Yeah. So, so moved. Okay. So I would be. Um, we would just simply be adding the action portion of item, so leave community comment where it is, but we would put the action below community comment. Is that correct? Of item I, correct? Yes. So the question, so I was just asked just I or H as well. My concern was more I, but. Yeah, I think it makes sense that we would um, have a discussion, with, so we go through H as posted, and then have a discussion on item I, hear comments from the community, and then have action on item I. Do you wanna just maybe say that in your motion? Or I'll amend your make an amendment here. Okay. So I amend my motion to move. So we have item I, we have discussion followed by community comment, followed by action. I'll second that. Are any opposed? Okay, that motion passes. Thank you so much. And um, I will need a motion to move to executive session, please. I'll make a motion to move to executive session. I'll second that. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, Christy. Um, any opposed? Okay. To, to the members that are um, joining us via Zoom tonight or watching on the live stream, you will see an executive session note posted on your screen um, until we return. Thank you. Here you go, by the way. 